All right, so we're here with John Lusk, who's the, currently the CMO at yapta.com. And uh, John is former Microsoft, which is how we know each other. Definitely one of the, the savviest marketers I've come across. Yeah. Of course, sweet. I haven't come across that many, so you it's really not saying all. that. Exactly. So, John, what's your sort of favorite marketing topic, du jour, as it were? So, so right, right now, it's, it's really around branding and online marketing. Let me explain that a bit. I've been talking to numerous CEOs, primarily in the Seattle, uh, San Francisco Bay Area, and every CEO that's starting an online company primarily, meaning a company that drives the majority of their business through online channels, You know, whether it's a publishing company, whether it's a subscription-based company, they all talk about building a brand. Right. All right? They all, they all want to be the player, the brand name. Um, but they also all talk about how they want to focus most of their marketing efforts on search meaning that they're putting all their resources into SEO, right. um, which is obviously uh, resources that you're paying for internally for the most part, or they're putting the resources into paid advertising, which is primarily PPC, right. which is, you know, for the most pay part, pay-per-click, pay per click, right. paid advertising, content advertising. Most of this stuff is funneled through Google, right? just because that's where the market share right. is from a search perspective. Well, the problem I have with that notion is I don't believe you can fundamentally build a brand Unless you've got a huge first mover advantage, I don't believe you can build a brand by focusing only on search marketing. And search marketing is just like crack. You know, so once you start focusing nice. on it, you see the results. Cost is so cheap comparatively. Uh, but what happens is when you're driving somebody into your front door, uh, or someone you're driving somebody into your store through somebody else's front door, which is what Google is, you put yourself at a lot of risks. One, your experience has got to be so phenomenal right. that when that person comes to your, your site, that they're either bookmarking you adding you to the favorite, or doing something. Because the uh, competition's a click away. Right. And right. so what happens is you start seeing search traffic do this, which obviously equates to growth, but you start seeing direct traffic mm. remain flat. And direct traffic, in my mind, is a measure of brand equity. Right, right. And the other risk with this is if you're putting everything into Google and putting everything into search, you're basically, you know, you know you're, you're, you're outsourcing you're, you're, your marketing. You're, you're outsourcing yeah. your marketing, and, and Google can essentially flip a switch. Right and completely and cut you off, right. and somebody else can come in there and eat your lunch. So especially if you're focusing on PPC, someone, a competitor, can start bidding your rates upwards. Right. SEO is always going to be competitive. So the brand becomes pretty expensive. Yeah. So I'm, so if you're a small, I mean, look, a lot of the people who read my blog, for example, you know, small businesses, medium-sized businesses, I mean, we have some large brands as well. But, okay, so how do you go about building a brand then in this environment? Well, one, you've you got to focus on who your customers are. Right, and what's that experience that's going to make your your product or service so much more differentiated, so much more value add, so much more unique than anybody else out there? But I believe you've got to start focusing on those specific customers in terms of getting them back. Use search as a way of getting into your door. How do you keep them coming back to you so you're not having to reacquire customers right. through search, whether it's SEO or PPC? So that can be everything from, you know, building community, you know, and trying to figure out is there a way to build brand equity and create your competitive moat. Um, through the building of community? Um, are there things that you can do sort of at the local level, depending on what your business looks like? Um, are there other ways, either through distribution mechanisms, that you can attract new users to your, to your site? Um, that becomes a little bit more difficult, especially if you've got a model where your average lifetime value is pretty low. Right. You know, and that's why people get stuck on the crack of, of search marketing, whether I it's SEO that. or PPC. But there are ways of doing it. You know. You can use social, but social is certainly a way of increasing your reach. Is it the best way of attracting new revenue and customers? It may be. It really depends on what you're looking at. But you've got to test all these different things. I mean, there's lots of different options out there. It's just hard for a lot of these CEOs, in my mind, to get away from starting and, and completely focusing on search marketing. So where can people find you online if they want to? get more of the John Lusk crack, as it were. So if they, if they want to find me online, I, I, I do tweet. So John Lusk is my handle, J-O-H-N-L-U-S-K. Right. Uh, my blog is johnlusk.net. I don't blog nearly as much as you do, um, but I'm out there. Uh, you can read my book. You still never stop marketing, though. <laughs> I never stop marketing. Right. Read my book, The Mouse yeah. Driver Chronicles. I was about to get to that. Uh, bestseller, yeah. published in six languages, uh, fantastic. Um, of course, you can read me, reach me at uh, John Lusk at Yahoo or John Lusk 11 at Gmail as well. All right, that's John Lusk. Thank you very much.